The true concept is based on the fact that our motion is not controlled by our consciousness. Our motion is made during our unconscious status. The most common example could be our walking motion. Generally, when we walk, our right arm and left leg move forward spontaneously, and our left arm and right leg move backward at the same time to go forward. This method should be applied due to keep balance under the influence of gravity. We can say that there are four factors in walking motion. Right arm, left arm, right leg, and left leg. In case of right arm, we can say that there are two motions, moving forward and backward. Left arm can be seen same as right arm, moving forward and backward. This concept can be applied to right and left leg same as well. So statistically, we can say that there are 2 to the 4th, which is 16 kinds of motions in our walking motion. Basically, our walking motion is decided within 1 millisecond. I'm hard to believe that this decision out of 16 choices can be made during this short time. Changing to other kind of motion is unrealistic because this motion must happen during short duration like 1 millisecond. Thus, motion cannot be chosen by consciousness. However, motion just happens like what we did previously. When we see our walking motion from large scale, there are 16 kinds of motion in walking. However, in rear, there are so many motions in existence. Let's look at our leg. There are toe, foot, ankle, shin, and thigh in our leg. Two kinds of motion exist in each part, so the number of choice should be multiplied by 2 to the fifth. Like this, we should understand that there are orders in our motion. As the number of parts related to our motion increase, the number of our motion order increase uncountably. Therefore, human motion cannot be controlled by consciousness. There are too many numbers of choice in human motion to control. Especially motion happened during short second. It would not be possible to choose one in that moment. In other words, the Motion with consciousness must happen with appropriate order of motion of each body parts. However, appropriate order is hard to be made by human consciousness within short second. So the motion appears like what we did usually. Or we can say that we are born with our motion. This is reality. It is impossible to change our motion. However, there is one way to modify our motion, which is Joule concept. The basis of Joule concept is that we understand that there are numbers of choice in human motion, and then we remove variables. As we remove variables in human motion, motion can be simplified. So simplified motion can be controlled by consciousness. This is cornerstone of Joule concept. At this kind of posture, there is little variable. If we move like this, motion is always constant. Motion is instant. We should remember this fact.